Well, isn't this a look? Who designed these jeans? I want to know. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do kind of like a comedy type of haul. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always on like Pretty Little Thing, ASOS, Boohoo, all those kinds of online websites. And sometimes when you're scrolling through all of the clothing and the new in, you kind of come across so many weird clothing items. And sometimes I just sit to myself and think, who actually buys those? So for today's video, that person's gonna be me. I basically went on ASOS and I pretty much picked the weirdest items of clothing that I could find on the whole website. Website. These items were kind of difficult to find. I literally spent like hours and hours and hours to try and find these But I feel like I found quite a few items which I'm just really nervous to try to be honest If you guys enjoy this video do make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below And also if you're brand new don't forget to subscribe come and join the dinosaur family And also YouTube at the moment is being really really annoying So please make sure you hit the bell button as well just to stay notified of every time I post a new video Because I know that a lot of you guys don't actually get my videos videos through to your subscription boxes. So if you do want to see my videos, your best bet is to definitely hit that bell button. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so first things first, I just want to mention that ASOS has come through. They literally sent me a sample of tiny little Kit Kats with nuts inside and I am just blessed by this. Thank you, ASOS. Thank you. This is exactly what I needed. But anyways, let's jump straight into the actual clothes. The first item is probably one of the weirdest dresses I have ever seen. In the packet, it doesn't look that bad, but let me just open it for you guys. So as soon as I saw this on the website, I was like, I need to get this and try it because it's just one of those things that I would never, ever think of purchasing. This is the dress. <laughs> Oh my god, it is so weird. Like why? Why would someone design this? This literally looks like a massive tassel. This is actually by ASOS own. So it's not even by like an external brand. This is their own piece of clothing, which they have thought that's gonna be a good one, you know? But yeah, I just, I'm not sure where they were going with that. This is the sleeve. It's kind of like sheer, which is kind of cool. But it's just these tassels, it's just, it's doing its absolute most, this dress. So yeah, let's uh, go put it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the dress. It looks so weird. There's so many tassels. It's just a really busy dress. Like, I actually really like the color of it, but it's just everything else is so much. Like, literally, look how long it is. It goes all the way down to the floor. If it was like that short, then maybe I can make it work. Like the tassels, okay, I get it. It's like meant to be a tassel dress, but then like all the lace and the sheerness. But with saying that, this is kind of fun. <laughs> I would actually wear this just so I can do this. So the tassels definitely serve some kind of purpose, but it's just not really my taste. Like literally, look how long it is. It goes all the way down to the floor. If it was like that short, then maybe I can make it work. I'm actually interested. Do let me know if you guys think that this dress is pretty and would you wear it? That's the beauty of fashion though. It's subjective. And I feel like even though I think it's hideous, some of you guys out there might think it's actually quite cool. But I just thought it'd be quite funny to, you know, buy some weird things like this just to try because this is definitely something I would never ever think about buying or wearing outside. So it's definitely not my cup of tea. This is going straight back to ASOS. I'm sorry. Okay, so the next piece of clothing is this right here. So this is kind of like a jumper, I think, or maybe like a sweatshirt from what I remember. The reason why I picked this up is because it literally looked so strange to me. I have never seen anything like it. What stood out to me is the fact that it's just like a plain jumper, as you can see, but just wait for it. This jumper is literally business in the back and party in the front. So it's got kind of like this weird foamy 3D like massive ruffle across the front. And I just thought who would actually buy this? It's just so strange. This is from a brand called Lost Ink, which I've never heard of before actually, but let's try it on. Let's see how it looks. I have to say when I was putting this on, it really doesn't look like it would feel like kind of like swimsuit fabric, but it really does. The fabric is so thick, but I guess they had to make it a little bit more thicker because obviously this is kind of like 3D. So if it was too flimsy, it wouldn't really stand up. Honestly, it is so hot in this room right now. Like the lights are getting so hot. I'm literally sweating. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It is just such a weird jumper. I have never seen anything like this before. I think it's so interesting. I have no idea where I would wear this or if this is even socially acceptable. It's kind of like getting in my face here, but 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below. Okay, now for the next product, I have these jeans. Now, these aren't just regular jeans because... That's not the point of this video. So this is what they look like. They kind of have like a cutout belt buckle situation going on in the front. In the photo online, I actually thought that this would be kind of like this all the way through to the back of the leg, but it's actually not. It's covered all the way at the back, which makes the jean look just a little bit more normal. But the party happens in the front where you have these little like strap buckles, which you can adjust. Um, yeah, I honestly don't really know the point of these jeans, why they're like this, but I guess it's kind of cool. But yeah, again, I've never seen anything like this, so I just really wanted to try it and see if I could pull it off. So these are the jeans. Now, I have to say, now that I'm wearing them and I know that this part of my leg is covered and not cut out as well on the back, they actually don't seem that weird anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still a little bit out there and maybe if I was feeling a little bit more confident one day, I could potentially wear these. I've got to say, this is probably going to be one of the most mild items of the whole haul today so yeah now that I've got them on I just don't think they're as weird as I thought they would be now for the next item I have a pair of shoes which is actually from misguided these shoes are honestly the weirdest pair of shoes I have ever seen I guess the whole clear shoe has been kind of around for a little while especially when Kim Kardashian and celebrities like that have been wearing them but these are just so weird they don't look like they'll be comfortable at all and I mean can we just talk about how sweaty your feet would get in these Oh, I'm actually really not looking forward to trying these on. But I guess they are kind of cool. They're a little bit different. They're boots. Oh, actually, they do have little holes in the side of the shoe just to kind of let your foot breathe, I guess. But still, I just don't think these tiny holes are going to keep your foot ventilated in this, like, plastic. Okay, so these are what the shoes look like on. I have to say, the skin on my foot right now looks so funny just because the way the plastic kind of grinds against the skin, it makes it like wrinkle, which just looks so unappealing. Like I said, it has got the little holes on the side where you can, you know, let your foot breathe a little bit, but I just have no clue how this would wear if I was like, you know, wearing it for a couple of hours. My foot would probably be covered in sweat. Surprisingly, these are actually not as uncomfortable to walk and stand in as I thought they would be because the heel isn't really that high. But in general, I can just tell that these shoes are not gonna be the most comfortable shoe I own. So these are are definitely going straight back. Now the next weirdest item of clothing that I have bought from ASOS is another pair of jeans, but let me just tell you, these are not a normal pair of jeans. These jeans are literally on another level. I don't think you guys are ready to see these jeans. So this is the top. As you can tell, you're getting like high-waisted vibes. As you're getting lower and lower, you're kind of gonna start seeing the jeans get wider and wider. But let me just remind you that these are a size eight. Um, so then, we have <laughs> so much fabric. Whoa, why? Why is this literally so wide? Who designed these jeans? I wanna know. And I wonder how much money they spent on all this excess fabric. Like that must have cost a lot to make these. So yeah, these are the jeans. I literally can't even fit them in my viewfinder. So yeah, these are definitely quite interesting pair of jeans. So let's try them on and see how they look. These are an absolute joke. <laughs> what is this? What actually is this? I honestly don't know who would buy these, but whoever does, I actually applaud you because I just feel so ridiculous. I feel like I could actually take on like a circus or something. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I am definitely gonna pass on these ones, but these are by far the weirdest trousers I have ever tried. Okay, so the next item I have here is a little like kimono or just a coat, I guess, but it is very, very sparkly. It is so flashy and I honestly don't really know if I hate it or if I like it. Maybe I would like this a lot more if it was a different color, but the orange is just too much for me, I think. This is what it looks like from the back. It is literally so shiny. I could totally take on Vegas with these. It is very noisy. 
as you can hear. These sequins are so huge that they literally kind of feel like you've got a handful of like tokens at the arcade. So yes, when I saw this, I just needed to get it and try it and see how it feels in person because I always see like sequin clothing online and I'm just always like, oh, I don't know if that's gonna like be nice to wear. So let's put it to the test. Let's try it on and see how it feels. Well, isn't this a look? I kind of hated it at the beginning, but now that I'm looking at it, it is so fabulous. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. You're probably like, no, that is not fabulous, Roxy. It's definitely an interesting item of clothing. It's definitely not something I would ever look to buy or wear. Now that I've got it on, it's kind of fun. Like, I don't want to be a hater in this video, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of digging it, which is the ironic part. I love the shape of it. It's kind of just like a kimono kind of style, and it is just covered in sequins. Quality could definitely be a little bit better, but at the same time, it is covered in plastic. So what can you really expect? I kind of like it. I don't know, maybe for like a festival or something, or just like a dress-up party, this would be cool. Definitely not for every day, and it's very noisy. Listen to this. And the very last item of clothing that I'm gonna be testing out today is this dress. So this is again a really strange dress that I have never seen anything like it before. It's basically like a front panel dress. The side is like a nude sheer and then this is the back. So it's completely strapless. This is just kind of gonna be like this on my chest and then the sides are just gonna be purely exposed. It doesn't go that low down, but it definitely goes past your knee and it's got a little slit in the side. The fabric actually feels really nice. And again, this is from ASOS Own. So they are coming out with some really weird things recently. But this just looked really interesting to me. So I thought I'd give it a go. So let's try it on. Okay, so this is the dress. Don't mind my underwear. I realized that they are showing. I don't mean to flash you guys, but this dress is so weird. So basically, you've got this side panel here that's completely made out of mesh, and my sticky bra is actually hanging out of this part here because this white thing isn't even wide enough to cover my boobs. So I do wonder who would actually wear this if you can't really cover yourself up very well. Now, this dress has literally no support whatsoever, so it's not like you could just rock out with no bra on. So that's why I'm wearing my little sticky bra, and even then, you can like see it on the side, so I don't know how you would wear this. But with that being said, I do really like the shape. I think it looks very sleek and it's just a little bit different from other dresses. That's why I picked it up. I've never seen anything that was made like this with this front panel and this is actually supported by like wires on either side. So the top half isn't really like fitted very flat to my skin, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is by far the weirdest dress I could find on the website. I like the idea of it. I kind of see where they were going, but maybe it could just be made a tiny bit better. So those are all of the bits that I have picked up for this video. These were honestly the weirdest items of clothing I have ever seen on ASOS or even on any website in general. If you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. But if you guys would like to see me do this kind of video from other stores, maybe Boohoo next, do let me know in the comments below maybe this could become a little series on this channel. Also, whilst I've got you here, do make sure you guys come and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. I would love to hang out with you guys over there. I am so much more active in the comments on like Twitter and Instagram than I am on YouTube because there are just so many comments to reply to on my YouTube channel. However, I love talking to you guys, so I really hope you guys come over there so we can have a little chat. But anyways, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah!